good that you can hear us. Uh, we said we would um, have prayer sessions on Wednesday around about this time and Saturdays at about 5, uh, our time, UTC. Now uh, you do the calculations for your own region, wherever you are, which, whichever country you are. It would be nice if you could see uh, which countries you come from. So if you could just type, you know, in front of your name, uh, what country, what state maybe, or what town you, you know, we, we might end up relatives. We don't know. <laughs> um, uh, as I said, I can't read those things as, as, as well as talking at the same time. So uh, we'll read them and we'll respond later. This uh, video, any prayer sessions that we'll have will be recorded and replayed for those people who can't join us at this time. And, um, you know, they can catch up. So it'll be played, replayed for about 24 hours, maybe or so, uh, on both channels. Uh, this is our Truly Majestic uh, YouTube channel. Uh, we'll also stream it on jesusministries.co.uk uh, YouTube channel. Uh, it will go on that page that we dedicated for prayer channel, uh, prayer uh, sessions on that website, jesusministries.co.uk. Uh, if you haven't, uh, please go visit that website. We want to bring as many as possible to that website, to, uh, to the YouTube channel, as well as the website, because uh, that website, to be honest, as we mentioned it before, is shadow banned because of the things that I've said in the past and, you know, it just crossed the lines, uh, red lines. We haven't said anything against the Bible, but we have said against, obviously, uh, the powers that be. Now, uh, some of the comments we've got from people previously uh, through our uh, streaming, our past videos, there were some common we can't pick up, pick up on old comments, but there were some common comments uh, that we kept hearing. Lots of encouraging ones, uh, lots of um, good words and encouraging comments, uh, which were nice to read and uh, you know know that people are in agreement with us on both videos. Um, but uh, there were some. Uh, typical ones, I just pick some of them. Uh, for instance, there were uh, some who were saying uh, you shouldn't look uh, to a man, you should look to Jesus. And uh, there was no, the, the video that Stacy launched about her dream, uh, it comes across as though she's promoting Trump or something like that. And, and so oh, yeah. people. Yeah, and, and, and so people think that we are looking up to Trump and Trump is our God. No, Trump is not our God. Uh, Trump was appointed by God as is all authorities. Uh, Ephesians uh, chapter 6, 12 reads, if I, if I just read it out for you. Six, sorry, uh, Ephesians 6, 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Now, uh, I read that because uh, one of the comments was that uh, warfare prayers are, are of the devil. Uh, that was the strangest thing I've ever heard. Warfare prayers are of the devil. Uh, our prayers shouldn't be against flesh and blood. It shouldn't be against certain powers or people. It, it is against spiritual forces in dark and uh, spiritual realms, and heavenly realms. Uh, and as far as Trump or anybody else, uh, the Bible says all authorities have been uh, given by God. Uh, Again, if I just find that scripture, uh, Romans 13. Uh, 
one. Uh, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. So that's uh, Romans saying that all the authorities, even the ones that we don't like, are established by God. It is an uncomfortable uh, verse, and most of us probably won't like that, but that is how it is. Uh, now, at the same time, we have to read all that in the context, because uh, when you compare it with other scriptures, we understand that Jesus also was against the authorities himself. So there is a line. Now, I don't want to cross uh, boundaries here. We've, we've only got, you know, everybody has dedicated a certain amount of time here to uh, pray. Uh, but I just wanted to mention a few things here, and, and then we, we dive into prayer. But one of the things was just, as I said, about uh, authorities. Uh, and there is a line uh, when the authorities cross that line. Then, then we have to step in. We can't just let them rule over us. And Jesus says, I've given you the authority to trample over scorpions and snakes and all the, uh, all the spirits. Even. Uh, he's given us that power. Luke uh, chapter 10, verse 9, sorry, 19, uh, reads, I have given you authority to, to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. So we have the power even over those authorities and powers and rulers. Uh, and also, uh, remember, Jesus says in John 6, 17, says, Jesus says, I, I, have I not chosen you, the 12? He says to his disciples, have I not chosen you? Yet one of you is a devil. So even the authorities that are chosen and given power and have been established by God, some of them, or we could say really these days, most of them at least, are established by God for his purpose. He knows that. Same as Judas Iscariot, he was appointed by Jesus, but he was appointed for, for that purpose. And somebody had to do that. And God knew that in advance, ahead of time. So uh, God has established these powers and authorities, but they are not doing the God's bidding. They're doing the devil's bidding. And also, we also know that the ruler of the world is Satan. So when you put all these together, you see where we stand. And so those comments that they're saying that we have to, uh, you know, uh, look up to Jesus, yeah, we do that. Uh, we haven't uh, idolized anybody. We're not worshiping any person on earth. We're worshiping only Jesus and God. There were other comments, typical comments, um, which were mostly attacks at Stacy because of her talking about people with tattoos, so she can talk about that. We'll just sit this way a little bit. Okay, so can you guys hear me first? Because we're having like microphone issues a little bit when the computer's pointed the other way. So am I coming across clear? I don't see anybody saying anything, so I'm going to go ahead anyways. So in my dream, I saw a tattooed man. And by the way, I, uh, the link, the dream is on my channel, so you can go look at it. It's, um, yeah, it, it, I can't remember what the title is. I think it says high-ranking politician was executed. And then it's about Trump and some other things. Um, right, so in my dream, I saw a tattooed man, and I mentioned that I don't, I wouldn't go out of my way to speak to this person because they were tattooed. In real life, I wouldn't do that because of, um, well, because I don't really approach people anyways very much. I kind of keep to myself, but if I had a choice of having someone that was tattooed from head to toe or someone that was just like not tattooed and looking just like that, 
I would approach usually those people first. But I had no problem with people with tattoos. I'm not against any person. Um, and I know loads of people have actually gotten tattoos when they were living um, their life before they became Christians and then they become Christians and that's just how they are now. That's just part of their, you know, but I have no problem with that. And people really <laughs> started attacking me because I was shy about approaching this, anybody with tattoos. So I don't want people to get hung up on that. That's not an issue. And I don't have a problem approaching anyone, but even I think everybody on earth is more comfortable approaching some people rather than others, you know? Yeah. Pastors were tattooed. So we can't say that we are against tattoos. We are against, let me tell the truth. I, I personally am against somebody going out of his ways or her ways and tattooing themselves, especially if they're Christian, especially. Now, if you've been uh, a non-Christian or haven't been raised or educated in, an, in, an, uh, in a Christian environment and then you've tattooed yourself, that's not your fault. You can... Um, you know, obviously convert and become, uh, you know, uh, a Christian and follow Christ. However, the, the, the aim or the objective of what she said in her video had nothing to do with um, people, uh, the person behind the tattoos. It had nothing to do with that. Um, so, so the the objective wasn't tattoo, but people, ha, ha, you know, had been kind of uh, apprehensive to hear that, and and uh, they got hung up on that um, part of the video. So they were attacking her. Why you not? You know, there is lots of. Well, of course, there are a lot of lot of people who are tattooed, and they're nice people, even if they're not Christians. Uh, there is no nothing, you know, wrong. With the person or the with the personalities of those people, it's about uh, the personality of my my wife is not that type to talk to to go out of her way and you know pick that person to talk to. Um, so that's the kind of thing. But again, um, tattoo itself uh, wasn't the point. The point was the person behind tattoo, the tattoos. Yeah, as you mentioned, Angie, our body is the temple of the Lord, and we have to, we have a responsibility to look after our uh, bodies. There is a lot of verses. There's this, the, the, the verses, a number of verses talking about your body and looking after your body, uh, your mind, your soul, and your spirit. is It's just uh, numerous in the scriptures in the Bible, and that we really have to look after our body. Uh, even down to how you feed, how you clothe yourself. Um, you have to be clothed, decent, uh, and uh, you have to feed your uh, body as well as your soul. Uh, reading the scripture, talking about the scripture, talking about the word of God is, is a spiritual food. Uh, we need that. We all need that. Um, yeah, uh, we are all children of one Father, one God. Now, somebody chooses one way of lifestyle, another another way of lifestyle. Uh, tattooing was not part of the objective of that video or, or, or the purpose of that video anyway. But people got hung up. And another thing that people uh, were attacking Stacy uh, with was uh, witches, because she mentioned witch in her video. And, and they're saying witches are good. <laughs> uh, now, it depends what is your definition of witch. 
uh, in the old ages, uh, witches were people who were treating and curing people by herbal remedies. Uh, if that is the case, then, uh, then of course, uh, we have nothing to do, you know, we have nothing against that, uh, which as far as we are concerned, which is our people who are um, dealing with uh, magic art, black art, magic, and, and those kinds of spiritual forces uh, and are in contact with the devil, those kinds of things, those kinds of people, those kinds of practices, not uh, the practice of herbal remedy, not that kind of thing. Now, uh, at the same time, I'm just trying to have a glance at the comments here to see what everybody is saying. Uh, most of you are from the US, uh, and my wife is from Idaho. Um, and she's just, by the way, she's just gone to look after our uh, son. He just wanted to go to the toilet. He's, he's only, uh, he's turning three in a, in a month or so. And uh, what was I saying? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do uh, until she comes back, uh, we're going to have to uh, start uh, sorry, I'm just reading a comment yes uh, yes, we're going to uh, dive into that the, the, the beginning, we just tried to Linda, we just tried to uh, kind of answer some of the comments that we generally got from people, from that video, from our, both our videos. Um, so uh, if you haven't watched them, please go and watch those videos of um, my dream and her dreams. And there is another video coming soon, uh, which is, uh, again, another dream I had uh, a while ago, which is very, very re relevant and significant. Um, so it will be going live, and these sessions will be going live as three plays for people to catch up and, and watch them. Uh, I'm just going to start uh, praying. Uh, first of all, uh, thanking God and asking God to forgive our sins and then start praying for our nations. <clears throat> Thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, for giving us this opportunity to pray uh, for ourselves and for our leaders and for our nations. Uh, thank you that you've given us health and all the means uh, to, to make this possible. Thank you for the people who have attended this session and thank you for their families and all the things that you've given them, you've enabled them to, to join and uh, pray. With these people, the world can change, the history can change. Uh, things that are happening, the evil things that are happening in the world will change uh, with the power of our prayers. I thank you that you can hear us. I thank you that you have washed our sins by the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for washing us and cleansing us. Cleanse me and cleanse my tongue and my whole body. Let me be washed with the blood of Jesus Christ and cleansed of all my sins and wash our house and our household and everyone and everything in our house by the blood of Jesus Christ. Cleanse us from all evil, from all sins and uh, iniquities. Heavenly Father, protect us from all evil. Protect us and our household from all evil and all the evil rulings that are being laid out every day by evil rulers around the world. Protect us and give us wisdom to know what to do and where to go and how to do things. And 
all the authorities we know that have been established by you, God. Uh, give wisdom, heavenly wisdom, to your people in the governments around the world, particularly in America, because America is the country that leads the world. Give power and authority and wisdom to the rulers uh, of all around the world, governments. Um, let them have heavenly wisdom, godly wisdom, and let them follow you. If, if there is a chance, O oh Lord, for their hearts to be softened, soften their hearts and let them turn around and come to you be saved, be baptized, repent of their sins and their evil practices and come to you and turn around all the evil rulings, all the evil laws that they are legislating one after another. Let them be a stumbling block for the devil in the governments, for all the demons in the governments around the world and let them turn around and work for the people, for their own people. Let them have compassion for their own people and work for their own people. If there is no chance for their hearts to be softened, O oh Lord, if it is not possible, rise up your people to the power. Rise up your people, godly people, to power and appoint them and give them authority and power to rule and reverse all the evil rulings and bring back uh, justice and humanity again, normal life again to the world. We ask you that you expose the evil doers in the governments, in all the governments around the world, expose them and, and expose all their plans and evil deeds and evil plans and let them be toppled by by your power, by your people, in Jesus' name. I ask you all these in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazarene. Amen. Thank you, Father, for all the, the authority that you've given us over principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness. You've given us, us your people, authority over the earth. Thank you for that authority. Thank you for the scriptures we read that already that confirm this authority that we have. We use this authority that we have through the blood of Jesus because he has shed it for us, for our sins, for the sins of our, the nations. Thank you for this, Lord God. Thank you for this. We use this authority and ask that you would pull down strongholds demonic strongholds that are keeping nations, the U.S. and many nations around the world, um, held hostage by these evil authorities, these evil demonic powers. I pray that they would come down in Jesus' name and that your righteous people, you would put fire in their hearts and fire in their souls, the fire of the Holy Spirit, that they would rise up in masses and pray with power, believing that the uh, the battle is already won, that Jesus already won this battle. We know how Revelation ends. Jesus wins. Thank you for that, and thank you for building our faith through these tough times. We don't like tough times, Father. We don't like trials. We don't like going through these things that um, are happening around the world, but we know that you use these things to refine your church. We know that you use these to empower people even more and then you change the season to something else so they can use this power more to bring souls to you. Father, I pray that every, um, every official around the world that has corrupt um, and evil in his heart that has been doing things underhandedly, stealing from the people, using the system for his own gain, that you, Father, would bring these things to light that there would be a, a beautiful exposure because your light is shining into this dark, these dark places and that you would also hand out your justice, that people would be able to see that no one can get away with evil 
things and underhanded things and things done in the darkness, no one can get away from them because you are the judge of men's heart. You, O oh Lord God, whether you pay them back in this life or you pay them back in after their death, Father, you always um, deal out perfect justice. Let us see that justice now in the whole earth. And I pray that as we step into a new and different season, as you've risen your, your believers to pray against these things, that you would just show us more what to pray for and let us see the light and encourage us and strengthen us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us with wisdom and revelation that you would also help us use our spiritual gifts that you have given each and every one of us for your glory. The things that we are weak in, Father, I pray that you would show us how to use these things better for you, that we would be strengthened in these areas, and that you would also protect our families. Lord, we know that as we pray against demonic strongholds that this makes them angry and they go out and attacking and causing problems, but they can't do anything to those that are covered with the blood of Jesus. And we pray covering of the blood of Jesus over our family and over the families of every person that is watching this prayer and over the families of people that are in their houses praying and seeking your face. Father, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your covering that you've given us and your protection. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name I pray all this. Amen. We find this spiritual um, forces, these demons, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazarene, we come against um, all his power, all, um, he doesn't have any authority. He might have power on the appearance, but he has no authority. This is not your place, devil. Get out of our life. Get out of our businesses. Get out of our families and houses and anything that belongs to us. The Lord has given us this land. The land belongs to the righteous, not you. So you get out of our lives and we bind you on earth as you found in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this power. And thank you that you've given us the, the, the awareness, the knowledge, the wisdom that we know. You've given us the power and authority, both power and authority, to trample over these powers and authorities and the scorpions and snakes and demons in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you for our salvation and thank you for your protection over us and our family members and our whole household. Thank you for these people who have attended here and thank you for their uh, salvation and their prayers. Thank you for their time and thank you for our health. If there is anybody sick in this congregation, in this gathering, oh Lord, heal their sicknesses right now in Jesus' name. I speak health to their bodies in Jesus' name. And thank you, Lord, for everything. Amen. 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 Yeah, I will just say a little bit more. Father, I, I just feel... Um, that you want us to pray for those people that have unsaved family members. And this is heavy on my heart. Lord, I pray that whoever's watching, whatever they have, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, parents, children, grandchildren, if they do not know you, Lord, that you would draw them with cords of love to yourself. And that as their family members pray for them, that you would honor these prayers that you would fill them, fill the people that are praying with strength. Because I know many have been praying for their family members for decades and they don't see any fruit. But you can bring fruit in a second. And we believe that. We ask you that you would turn people's hearts in a second that don't know you. So Lord, for everyone watching, if they have any family members, I just pray. I just release the power of Jesus into their life that they would be drawn with cords of love, that any demonic activity that is in their life that is holding them back from Jesus would be bound. You would bind these and render them helpless, render these demonic activity and demons completely helpless. They would not be able to stop these people.
from coming to your glorious salvation. And Lord, we just ask that you would surround them with circumstances, bring people into their life, let them see confirmation after confirmation that you are Lord, that they need Jesus, they need that Savior in their life, they need you as Savior. And just in your kindness, Lord God, bring them to you. Bring them to you and let the prayers of your saints be answered for these people. And I pray, Father, that so many people would start coming into the kingdom, that this would just uh, set off a domino effect, that these people that haven't known you would be able to go out and spread the word to all their friends and that they would come to know you. And then it would just keep going like a massive wave of love. Thank you, Father, for your promises. Thank you that you want every single person on earth saved. And we know that when we are praying for people, you honor these prayers. Thank you. In Jesus' name, I pray this. Amen. 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 Right. Thank you, Paul, again, uh, for joining us. Thank you, Paul. Uh, your prayers, uh, really, you, we are all praying for the whole world, for ourselves, for our nation. So, you know, we can't, you know, give ourselves a pat on the shoulder and say thank you. We can't really do that. We, we just have to keep doing this um, until we see changes that we want to see uh, around the world. And but I just appreciate that you're joining us, giving, uh, giving up your time. And I know everybody's busy, especially at this time of the year. And uh, thank you for your comments. We, we will read all these comments and uh, when we can to answer them. This will be replayed uh, later on uh, for about maybe 24 hours or so. Yeah, we'll uh, learn more about Yeah, and stream it again. So if you watched it, don't please bear with us because we are playing it for people who haven't watched it, who haven't had a chance to see this to join us. Uh, so they can they can follow us, and uh, if you haven't, uh, please watch those videos and, and follow us on both channels because this is at the moment is streaming on uh, fullymajestic.com uh, YouTube, uh, but uh, we will also stream it on jesusministries.co.uk. The website, as I said, I would like everybody to uh, spread it and share it because. That is something that we want to grow, and this really shouldn't be mixed up. Uh, really, I don't know. Maybe we might actually merge them together. We don't know. Uh, but we wanted initially uh, the idea was to keep them separate. Uh, however, uh, we would appreciate if you go there. Uh, if you have any comments or if you've been touched by these uh, sessions, by these prayers, if uh, you've been inspired or touched, please uh, email us comment, uh, send a comment or send a note on our prayer uh, page on our website at jesusministries.co.uk. Yeah. Uh, we have to keep turning it back and forth because the mic is only one side. Um, yeah, what my husband already said, you know, I just want to add to that, that even if you don't see your prayers being answered, you have to continue to be steadfast and persevere because our prayers do make a difference. Every single prayer we pray makes a difference. And as we continue to pray, hearts are softened. You might not be able to see it all the way down to the second that a change is made in someone's heart. And God's justice is coming and you might not be able to see it all the way to the last second when he actually brings it about, but continue to pray even when you don't see any fruit. All right, um, we're just closing now because uh, it's been about uh, two and a half hours, I think. Uh, right, I'm, I'm just looking at the, <laughs> sorry, it's a concurrent viewer's time, so watch time, so that's a different thing. Yeah, it was 45 minutes, I, just, I thought that was a short, <laughs> two and a half hours. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for joining us again, and please, uh, Follow us 
and come uh, to this session again next time on Saturday. God bless you and goodbye.